organized back in the 1800s, but we have uh, several uh, females as, as in our organization as well. Uh, one of my instructors is, uh, is a woman, and she's one of our major here. The reason I start with this is Kelly, grab the phone. electrician or a plumber or a carpenter or whatever you might be getting into but this is our wages here uh, after the first year our people are making 18 bucks an hour then they go on to their next few years and this is going to go up each year by the time they're done they're making 36 dollars an hour right now and that's just what's going in their pocket they have a lot of retirement and all that stuff and uh, you know, I don't want to bore you with all of the benefits and everything, but I'm just here today to show you what is out there and the uh, opportunities that you might uh, want to look at when you're when you're done with your high school career. Uh, our apprenticeship is located up in Reading, so depending on where you live, you, as far as the electrical apprenticeship, there's one in Reading and there's one down in uh, Collegeville, down towards King of Prussia. So you guys are right, kind of in the middle here. So depending where you live, you might be going to ours, you might go down to theirs, but we, we do the exact same thing. So I got a, uh, it's about a 10, 15 minute video here, just kind of shows you, talks about the apprenticeship. I'll show that and I'll uh, talk a little bit about more what, what we look at for candidates and so forth and when to apply and that stuff and we'll, uh, go from there. Is there lights? I think electricity is more than the world's It's all about There's electricity in everything we do. It's all about this and everyone's conscious of it. We have the better the tools, the people, the knowledge to grow electricity, to bring in every business and every home, to maximize the potential, and make a better society and a better world. Electricity becoming more and more important in our lives. Now we have 7 billion people on the earth, and so the energy demand has continued to increase you know, exponentially every year. Uh, you really don't realize how important the electricity is until you're without it. And then it falls upon our shoulders as electrical contractors to be involved in the restoration of power to people. Without tradesmen, uh, we would have a world of hurt. There would be no one to maintain the electrical system, all the things we take for granted. Work in the electrical industry takes a special kind of person that doesn't mind going out and doing physical labor, as well as the person that can think. It's not just mindless tasks. Every task has potential of something great or something damaging. There's a lot more to it than just having mechanical aptitude. With all the technologies we do today and all the different skills we need to have, math and science, physics, chemistry, all play an important part. It's really more than just working with your hands. The traditional path has always been that you should go to college and not worry about a trade. Um, and trades are more for people that aren't ready for college and they couldn't be farther from the truth. Uh, the trades pay well. It's a skill that you can't take away from somebody once you learn it. And it's something that is vital to our economy and to society. Nowadays, we've kind of lost teaching people the trades. And we need to get back to that because we need tradesmen, we need plumbers, we need 
for electricians. I think sometimes we may force too much emphasis on college education uh, for our kids uh, and not give them the option of a trade. I think it's a great alternative, especially for uh, young know, guys and girls that are handy, they don't want to be in an office environment. And it's a great paying job and a rewarding job as well. We get applicants from guys and girls who are just out of school to people in their 40s and 50s. The range of applicants is tremendous. If you're interested in being an electrician, there's no other place to go. Our apprenticeship program is top notch in the nation. You get an education and you're employable and you're not in debt. The NECA IBW apprenticeship program is by and large the foundation of our electrical industry. Joining the apprenticeship program is the best thing you can do for a career in the electrical industry. Not only now do you learn a trade, but you also get college credits. When these people graduate from your program, they graduate with the associate's degree. The two work hand in together between the classroom instruction, which we have 900 hours of classroom instruction, and the 8,000 hours on the job to, to reinforce that. And you're getting paid while you're, while you're doing it. They'll have you a textbook how to wire a transfer, and then two days later, you're actually out in the field wiring a transfer. And they'll have you bend and play for the wiring up a three-way switch, but then out in the field, you're actually doing it. So it's very nice to get both the hands-on in the class and then out in the field. Every job is different. So they're not the mundane, average job site. It's something that is new and exciting, large in scale, and uh, it's an adventure every time. There's some people that work jobs their whole life and they never leave the same building. In this trade, you can be bouncing around with jobs all the long. Meeting different people, uh, different exposure. We're constantly moving, constantly lifting, climbing. I like the physical work. All my girlfriends are mad because I'm losing weight while they sit in a chair all day. It is definitely difficult, but they don't set you up for failure. They want you to succeed. If you want to be here, they're going to help you succeed. The guys on the job site are there to help you understand what you're doing, and the teachers here in school are here to help you understand what you're doing. But if you don't pay attention, you're not going to pass. If you don't put in the work, you're not going to make it. I have to prove myself every day. It's a challenge going forward. I mean, definitely if you mess up, you're going to hear about it. Not just today, but tomorrow too. So every day, you have to prove yourself. You have to come through the door with 100% ready to go. Ready to You're being evaluated out in the field by foremen, uh, by other journeymen, by you know, the owners of the companies, by your customers. And uh, if you're not on top of the technology and the changes that are happening, you, you could end up being unemployed. I think some people get the impression that they'll just get into a building trade and then they'll live happily ever after. You have to, you have to work. You have to want to be here. At the end of the day, if you're not showing up and you're not doing your work, you will move on. There's a good amount of people that end their apprenticeship thinking that it's all easy and they can just walk through. And then when they get into it, you see that the amount of stuff that you need to learn and just the amount of time that you have to put in to be an electrician, you're not cut out for it. I'm always looking for the person who wants to be an electrician, not just looking for the paycheck. But I need the guy to come out and have passion in what they want to do. If you're not passionate in what you're doing, I'd rather have somebody else. You need to want to do this type of work. You are going to be in environments where you have to constantly pay attention to safety, outside in the heat in summer and in the cold in the winter. Um, so you just need to be aware of what you're getting into and make sure that's what you want first. Uh, the money's nice, the benefits are great, having a retirement is awesome, but uh, if you're joining for those reasons, you're, you're, just, you're just not going to be able to do this for you. The IDW is a book. The camaraderie on the job site between the individuals is tremendous. I think it's great working alongside the journeyman and the foreman that we have because I feel like we were trained the best and the guys that you're working for are top-notch guys and they're the guys that you want to learn from. It's very important that everyone works together. Management, labor, uh, apprentices, journeymen, supervisors, foremen, whatever they be. Everybody has to do, to do their part. A journeyman representing the local union when they're working for their contractors take pride in their work because they're representing the contractor, the IDW, as well as themselves. 
when I have my contractor logo on my, my hard hat on my, my shirt, not only am I working for my contractor, but also for the union. I want to do everything I can to make that money, make me money, do a good job. I love being an IBW. It really gives you a lot of uh, like security in a job network. I guess if you were a non-union, you wouldn't really get too much security. The union represents safety. It represents uh, protection of the workers' rights. It represents efficiency. The union represents the smart way to work. We work to provide for our families, so it's like the safety aspect of it is really important. So at the end of the day, you can go home to your family. So our guys work 7 to 3.30. They can be home at 4 o'clock and are involved in the community. They are the coaches. They are the guys that do all of these things that the guys that are working until 7, 8 o'clock at night can't do. They've worked hard all day, they've seen what they accomplished, and they come home with a clear head. In addition to the financial benefits that you and your family reap from being part of our program, you get the pride of ownership of knowing that you help build our skyline. Take one look at the beautiful Philadelphia skyline. There's 30 high-rise construction projects that are going on right now, and there are apprentices on in every one of them. What they're building is going to outlast, and we're proud to be associated with the wonderful apprentices in our program.